Who's his name? What's the, what's the father's name? Because a lot of units, huh? Yeah, uh, 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 Okay, what's his First and foremost, I give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahushai, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that rule exceptionally well. And a sincere salutation to Akim pushing his truth and sincerity by Shimro Kakwadash. The title of this lesson is going to be Every soul which will not hear that prophet shall be destroyed. Okay, and, and uh, the clip that you saw was from GMS Watchmen, okay entitled the wedding guests okay it's also on my page i um re-uploaded it if you haven't seen it you know go go ahead and check that out okay because the lord yahweh and his son yahweh shai have set up prophets upon the earth and it would behoove you to you know to listen to them okay if you call yourself an israelite and you know what tribe you're from, you, you know, you know about the fringes, you know about the the commandments and the high holy days, okay, and, you, and you're seeking the most high, you know, you, 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 the Lord set up prophets, man, okay, and it's important, man, because a lot of people get upset at the way the elders conduct themselves, the apostles, the elders, brothers, you know, the elder brothers in your camp, you know what I mean, this is all scriptural, man, this is, this is how it was in the ancient world, okay, and, 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 and the prophets were stern. Okay, I'm going to bring this out. This is Hebrews 13 and 7. Remember them which have the rule over you, who have spoken unto you the word of the Most High. Now, who has the rule over you? The, the, the apostles, okay? The prophets, the elders, the, 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 the leaders, okay, in your camp, who have spoken unto you the word of the Most High. Who taught you this truth? The apostles, man. Okay, who's been in this truth laboring uh, 20, uh, 30 plus years, man? The elders and the apostles. Of great millstone whose faith follow okay follow their example okay in the faith and, and see you know look to them about how strong their faith is considering the end of their conversation okay consider what they say man consider all the things you know ponder on you know what they say in their videos strong's g391 anastrafe Right, consider their manner of life, their conduct, their behavior. Consider how they, they conduct themselves. Okay? 17 verse. Obey them to have the rule over you and submit yourselves. You're supposed to submit, man. Okay? You're supposed to listen to them. For they watch for your souls. You see Apostle Hart get on that guy. He asked him, hey, what, what's the name of Yahweh? Why Yahweh Shai? What, what does it mean? What's the name of the Most High and His Son? What, and what does it mean? You heard him ask him. Okay, and the other guy, he was asking where, where was he at, where has he been, uh, if he was doing the work, if did he keep the Passover, you see, they're watching over your soul, they're watching to see if, you, if, if, if you're keeping the commandments, if you're doing the right thing, they are overseers over the church, okay, just like brothers, you know, 
uh, uh, in lower of rank, they've been put in positions to oversee brothers that are younger, younger than them, you know, in the spirit, you know, and so on and so forth. It says, for they watch for your souls as they that must give account. Okay, so Yahweh Bashim Yoshai put them in a position, okay, to watch over you and they give account to the Heavenly Father through the Spirit by the way they conduct themselves, by the way they manage the, the church all the way from the, from, the, from, the, from the head apostles on down. That they may do it with joy, okay? So, they, you know, they have to do it with, 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 with ease. You know, don't, you know, we're not to make, make it a hard thing for, for the elders and the brothers that are above us. It says, and not with grief, for that is unprofitable to you. Okay, so it's unprofitable for you, man. Okay, a lot of people that are Israelites, okay, that, that call themselves teaching, you know, Zabak, Nate, General Yahana, um, uh, what's that dude, Raka, you know, and, 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 and uh, you know, people who are not in the, in the Israelite faith, you know, they, they cast themselves going against, you know, uh, the apostles and it's to their own destruction, man. You know, they're doing, they're causing grief to the heavenly father. I mean, to the heavenly father's prophets, but what? It's unprofitable. It's hurtful. It's hurtful for you, man. Gainless. What does it say right here? It says gainless. You're right. You gain nothing, man. The, the scriptures tell you, man, if this work be of men, it'll come to naught. But it'll be of Yahweh Bashim Shai, and you're going to find yourself fighting against the, 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 the most high. Okay. And Acts the fifth chapter. Okay, because I saw that video and I was like, man, so many people want to discredit the apostles, okay, but they don't know. They don't know that they've been set up through the spirit, man, just like Moses, just like um, Joshua, just like uh, uh, Isaiah, Jeremiah, you know, the, the, the 12 disciples, you know, Obadiah. You know, so on and so forth. It says, this is Hebrews 12 and 25. See that you refuse not him that speaketh. For if they escape not who refused him that spake on the earth. And who were those? Those were the rebellious Israelites, man. Okay, in the wilderness, they refused Moses. Okay. Ma 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 mainly, uh, uh, the example was Dathan, Cory, and Abiram. For if they escape not who refused him that spake on earth. Much more shall not we escape if we turn away from him that is spaketh from heaven. Okay. And uh, that was, let me get that real, real quick. Number 16. I wanted to get this. All right. Let's see. This is number 16 and 25. And Moses rose up and went unto Datham, Abiram, and the elders of Israel followed him. And he spake unto the congregation, saying, Depart, I pray you, from the tents of these wicked men, and touch nothing of, their, of theirs, lest ye be consumed in all their sins. So they got up from the tabernacle of Coram, Dathan, and Abiram on every side. And Datham and Abiram came out and stood in the door of their tents, and their wives and their sons and their little children. And, and Moses said, Hereby ye shall know that Yahweh has sent me to do all these works, for I have not done them of my own mind. If these men die the common death of all men, or if they be visited after the visitation of all men, then the Lord hath not sent me. Right, so Moses said, if they if they die a regular life, then, you know, the Lord didn't send me. But if the Lord make a new thing and the earth open up her mouth and swallow them up with all that are pertain unto them, and they go down quick into the pit, then ye shall understand that these men have provoked Yahweh. Okay? So, Moses said, man, if the earth, if the earth opens up and swallows these men, and they go down quick into the earth... Then you shall understand that these men have have um, uh, provoked Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Okay, so you don't want to you don't want to go against the apostles, man, and the, and the men who the Lord set up, man, and through the Spirit. If you can't see that the Lord set these men up, man, then that, then you're spiritually blind, and you got a lot of Israelites that don't want to follow the apostles that go against the apostles, and 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 what what the apostles say. Hey, it, it could very much happen, just like it happened in the days of Moses, man. But because we're in this grace period and the Lord is not, you know, set up his time, you know, then then people think they can scoff, man, you know. I'm going to run this back, Hebrews 12 and 25. See that ye refuse not him that speaketh, for if they escape not who refused him that spake on earth, 
Much more shall we not escape if we turn away from him that speaketh from heaven. Okay? So, they escape not, man. Corey, Dathan, and Abiram. Okay? They escape not when they refused, you know, Moses. Much more shall not we escape if we turn away from him that speaketh from heaven. So we're not going to escape either if we turn away from, from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay? You know? So we have to be careful, man, because, yo, what they, what the apostles say, it could very much come to pass. This is Isaiah 44 and 26, and I just want to make a point. It says that confirmeth the word of his servant. That confirmeth the word of his servant and performeth the counsels of his messengers. You see that? That's talking about Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, the Most High. That confirmeth the word of his servant and performeth the counsel of his messengers. You see? That saith to Jerusalem, thou shalt be inhabited, and to the cities of Judah ye shall be built, and I will rise up the decayed places thereof. And that's what the Heavenly Father is doing by, by uh, setting up the apostles. Okay? They speak, they're speaking and they're diligent. Okay. And they've, they have much fruit. They have much fruit and they are building up the tabernacle of David and raising up the de decayed places thereof, man. So Yahweh Bashim Shai can very much confirm the word of his servant, his, and, and who is who? The apostles and perform the counsel of his messengers, man. Okay. So you got guys that, that are playing with the word, you know, that are not. Uh, doing um, the Heavenly Father's uh, will, okay? The, the the apostles are set up to watch over your souls, man. So if they're telling you, if the apostles are hard and brothers are saying that about guys who are not teaching and, and, and who are not, uh, who are casting his word behind their back, man, hey, that could really happen to them, man. They can get destroyed. What do he say? Yahweh Bashim Yoshai is going to kill you. And it's true, man. That's, that's what the Lord set us up to do, man. Reprove and rebuke, man, with all long suffering. Because it's, you know what, man? Because... You know, the spiritual power, okay, and all that hasn't come. People think that what we say is just, you know, to just toss it behind your back. It's eh, you're just a man. But in reality, man, if, 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 if you know, we be those men, okay, the, 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 the prophets coming back, we're going to get that, that power, okay? But men are not spiritual. This is Acts 3 and 22. Yeah, when I saw that video, you know, I was like, man. It, it, you know, you got to do something on that. For Moses truly said unto the fathers, a prophet shall Yahweh your power raise up unto you of your brethren like unto me. And that prophet was Yahweh Shai. Okay. He was uh, of the tribe of Judah. Like, like uh, Moses was of the tribe of Levi. Okay. He was an Israelite. Okay. Him shall ye hear in all things whatsoever he shall say unto you. And it shall come to pass that every soul which will not hear that prophet shall be destroyed from among the people. Okay. And, and, okay, so it, it is going to come to pass that every soul which does not hear that prophet is going to be destroyed, man. 24, Acts 3 and 24, yea, and all the prophets from Samuel and those that follow after, as many as have spoken, have likewise foretold of these days. You see? And that's what that's what the apostles of, of, of Great Millstone have, have been doing, man. They've been foretelling of the of the of the days to come where all the rebellious uh, uh, Israelites and and the and the wicked two thirds who know not their Israelites are going to be destroyed. Okay, so you know it's spiritual when the apostle Tahar speaks, man, and when they make when the apostles make certain decrees, this thing is very spiritual. So it's it's it behooves you to 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 take heed. Okay, so I just wanted to bring this out, Lord willing, it was edifying. I want to say Brakate Yahweh, Brakate Yahushai, Brakate Yahweh, Brakate Yahushai, Brakate Yahweh, Brakate Yahushai, Shalom.